Hey, Kim Townsley here. Are you looking for lights that you could put under your countertop? This set has three and you can set them so that all three come on at the same time with a wave of your hand. Or you can set them so that you can control each light separately with a wave of your hand. They have little, um, little plugs to help hide the cord. Very smart design by two young ladies. Um, very happy to test and show you guys how to use these lights and how to install them. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Kim Townsend here. Not a toy, but let's play. Oh, that sounds fun, doesn't it? It's actually a light. LED cabinet lights. Here's the model number, adapter information, technical stuff, and the light is supposed to be a cool white light. It is an Asoko product made in China. And I'm not going to scan the QR code. We have insulation guide, thing to pull out, rotate to pull back, stick on, push in, operation guide. Instruction manual. We have probably something for insulation. Oh, it's more than one light. It said lights, Kim. It did. Very cool. And instructions for use. Clean the surface of the cabinet. Peel off the film of the sticky adhesive pad. Stick the light on and press hard for 10 seconds. Seems like that's all there is to it. There's one light. Two lights. Three lights. And some more information. QR code. Here's the company's website, asokohome.com. Support, email, and find them on social media. They are the light people. I have one in my closet that I love. I'm going to link that at the end of this video. And it has a charger. Looks like, like a regular C charger. Let's see. Beautiful. Looking at the instructions, these are not rechargeable lights. They have to be plugged in. But you can put them under your counter and you string them along. I'll show you how to do that. Here's some product features. Let's identify these parts. So one is a type C interface that's going to be on this end, has this uh, type C cable plug. Two is the motion sensor. Here, there's the motion sensor. Three is the control button. Three is the control button. Four is the smart indicator ring that is around the green button. Five is your type C connection cable and that is at the end of each light and these come out to I think 1.9 feet. Each one has one and you connect those like this once you decide where you're going to put them in your kitchen cabinets. And then you're going to connect this one to the end one. Kind of like Christmas tree lights, but you're putting them under a cabinet. And these come out. Six is your cable organizer box knob. That's this. I'm going to assume that you can pull it out. And that you can reel it back in with that. Seven is the light emitting surface. That is this part. Light emitting surface. Eight are 
the product parameters nameplate. That's on the back side that gives you some information about the lamp. Nine are your stickers. Those are what you're going to use to actually make this stick to the bottom of your cabinet. I would suggest cleaning the cabinet first and drying it thoroughly before you put it on there. And make sure you get it where you want it. I don't think it's reusable. Ten is your custom adapter. That is this. Goes into the electrical outlet. And then this goes into one end of your light. The last string of the light closest to the electrical outlet. Eleven or cable clip and those come in this bag that you can use to clip the cables up underneath the cabinet so that they're not hanging down. I'm in the darkest room in my house but I have my flash on. We're going to put this C cable into this. I'm going to test one of these lights and see if it works. I'm going to plug it in. And it's already coming on when I kept my flash off. So to operate, you're supposed to wave your hand in the sensor area to cut it off and on. So that did cut it off. Closed it. I wave my hand again. That cuts it on. So that worked. About three inches away. If I press and hold the button for one second, the ring color will change to indicate the mode. It's going to be on a blue light. One button controls three lights together. If I want it to have each light controlled separately, like if I want to wave and cut on one light and leave the other two off, then I need to have it with a green light. So our indicator right now tells us that we're on green. It's on green. If I press and hold it for one second, the blue light comes on. And that means that it's operating all three lights together. So when I string all the three lights together, if I want all three of them to come on, I need it in the blue mode. If I want to control each light separately, I need to press and hold that button one second, change it to green mode. The green light means I'm going to control each light separately. Cleaning off the area where I'm going to put the lights and I'm going to let it dry for over an hour before I install them. Make sure the sticky works. My first segment is going to have to be here. It's going to have to be next to the electrical outlet. These, remember, these are not rechargeable. And I'm going to test it to see if I like where it's going to be. Since these are recessed and so are my lights, I could bump it up right to the edge of this and have a full light like that. I can move it back a little bit. That's going to give me a glare off of the paint on the wall. So you have to decide if you want that brightness or if you want more of your light, you know, on your countertop right here. It looks kind of cute like that, but then I, that also makes a lot visible. So I'm probably going to put mine close to the edge. So I'm going to have my main one plugged in over here by the electrical outlet. I'm going to have one under here. And then I'm going to put one under this cabinet. I already have an older light here that I'm not prepared to take down. So I'm going to try to string my... So I'm going to try to string my third light to be under this cabinet. Let's see how these clips are going to work. Okay, so it looks like they have sticky on the bottom of them. And if you, you put those on the bottom of your cabinet, and then they just slide in like that. So they'll hold it up. Make sure this dolls it back in. Yep. So you can see that I can pull the cord out and then I can turn it. It has a little arrow on it and that tells you that you can tighten it back up, tighten it back up. So that looks easy enough, right? My cabinet doors are about 19 inches wide. 
the light is about 16 inches long so I'm going to put about an inch and a half of cadmium up here so I have it marked off this piece of post-it note I'm going to peel the back off Pull the back off of that. Try to line it up close to this. And press it straight up. We're supposed to hold it there for a little while. Don't have it plugged in yet. So the instructions say to clean the surface, which I did, peel the film off the sticky adhesive pad, which I did, stick the light on and press hard for 10 seconds. I actually did mine for a little bit longer than 10 seconds, but it's up there. Let's test this one and see if it's going to work. So it's plugged in. I should be able to wave. And it did come on. See that beautiful light? Wave again, and it goes off. Let's put the next one up. Same principle, this cabinet is right beside the other one, and I'm going to pull the sticky off and press it up here, but I've got to move the camera. I can't film this one this way because I'm sitting right behind it. You need to try a different angle. So when I put this one up, I need to make sure that I have this where I can plug into the C cable of that end because that's how it's going to get connected. Remember, think Christmas tree lights, and I do. Peel. Peel. And I'm going to line it up close to the edge of my cabinet. Get close to my posty note. And hold for 10 seconds. Count with me! I see a little tiny ant. I see a little tiny ant. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit longer. Right there, it's up. I'm going to plug this one in. And this is a key C cable. Easy. Tighten this back up. So I'm turning it the right way. Nope, I wasn't. And there you go. And undid it. I did it so tight. Oh, here we go. Didn't have it tight enough. I don't think I even need a cable. Okay, I have it on green mode, so maybe I need to press it on blue mode. Yeah, blue mode's where everything happens together. Nice. Look at that. That is just cool. So stepping back, that's what it looks like. This is my little boy from Togo that I sponsor. If you want to sponsor, I'll put a link in the text below and you can sponsor our child as well. That's nice, isn't it? The next one, the next one I'm going to try to string up over here and put it under this cabinet. So I have two cabinet doors over here. And they're about 26 inches wide, and the lot's 16, so I'm going to start it about 5 inches from there. So I'm going to have to remember that I'm going to have to put this one on the right side, because I need to have my C-cable pointing towards my last light, which is under here. So I'm going to make sure I mount it that way. So for me, I'm putting all the knobs that dial this up. Over on the right hand side. Stick her off. Stick her wrapper off. And wind it up to the base of the cabinet. So close enough. Push up and count to 10. Let's pull her cord out. Just to be safe, I'm turning it. Don't know if you have to turn it or not. Is 
don't really want to yank on it. Oh, I may not have left enough. Well, I didn't. So they said it was only about a foot and a half, and they're right. So I'm gonna have to take this down and get some more sticky to put it up somewhere else, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's coming down very easy. Yeah, don't make the mistake and put it somewhere where you don't want it. Because it's not going to work. I'm going to have to buy an ex extender cable for it. I want to keep it there. Yeah, the sticky tape is not coming down. So I'm going to have to buy an extender cable for this. I should have remembered they said it was only a foot and a half. So I put it too far away. So I will dial it back up. And get an extender cable. So make sure you don't put them too far apart like I did. Be alright. Can't even see it. Can't even see it. And those are gorgeous. So I'm gonna put a couple of these little clips up to hold the cable. There we go. So I'm going to put it on the cable. And then press it on the cabinet. And the cable really doesn't bother me. But I'm going to put one back here, just to get it out of the way. These are some smart young ladies that designed these lights. And I am good with that. So because I didn't pay attention to my own reading, I'm going to have to order the 3.2 foot extension cable on Amazon.com. So go, I'll put that link below since I'm going to have to go buy one for myself. Let's check the instructions again. You wave your hand to cut it off and on. That works. You hold your hand for three seconds to dim. Cut it back on. So one, two, three, and it starts dimming. So it does work. If you want each one to work independently, press that until you get the green. And then that one dims. That one cuts back on. That one cuts off. And the other one stays on. I don't want them both coming on together, so I need blue. Beautiful. It's so simple. Thank you for watching my video about the Ahsoka under cabinet lights. Remember that it's free to give the video a thumbs up. It's free to leave a comment. It's free to share this video if appropriate. And if you'll check in the text below, I'll provide a link on how you can buy these lots for yourself or someone you care about. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link. And leave a positive comment if you can. And if you have time before you go, watch the video. And until we meet again, let's just help keep the world a brighter, cleaner, more effective, and efficient place. Thank you much. Bye.